expect to find you here. Obviously. Tony, chuck you out. I spent last night at the pub, alone. Probably what I should have done. Would have been warmer. You didn't stay out here last night, did you? Well, I wasn't sure if my bed would be free. Look, CJ, last night, it wasn't how it looked, honest. So you weren't really kissing my wife. Tony wanted to talk it over. You got a funny way of talking. Look, I'm really sorry about all of this. That's big of you, since you started it. I never meant this to happen. Tony came to me and... So it's all her fault, nothing to do with you? I never said that. I've made some really big mistakes. And I feel really bad about it. You think telling me this makes it all right? No, I don't. How do you think I feel, Sam? I've lost a wife and a friend. You screwed up my whole life. What do you think? Should I go for Federation style or maybe an Art Deco look? Isn't it just a kennel? <laughs> Penny, is the Opera House just a hall? Is Windsor Castle just a house? Jamie, you have only ever built ships in bottles before. Yeah, well, this will be much easier, won't it? It doesn't have to go inside a bottle. Well, as long as it keeps Tess warm and dry, you don't have to go to so much trouble. Yeah, but I want to. I mean, this little family means a lot to me. I want to do something for it. I want to do it for Charlie. You want for me? Ah, well, you come and have a look up here and I'll show you. I'm going to build Tess a kennel. Why? She sleeps with me. Yeah, but I don't think that's a good idea anymore. I like her next to me. It's very kind of Jamie to offer to do this. It's not polite to refuse. I'll let you build something else instead. Um, well, Charlie, see, if, if I don't build this kennel, then you'll be forcing me to break a promise. What promise? To my father. You see, when I was about your age, he built me a wonderful kennel for my dog. What was it like? Well, it was big and bright red, and it had real tiles on the roof and carpet, and it was so big that I could get inside with my dog. Wow. <laughs> and I remember hiding one night because I didn't want to go to bed. My family spent hours looking for me. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how much fun it was watching their legs go past, not knowing how close I was? <laughs> You're being naughty. Uh, oh, not really. <laughs> uh, Johan and I had so much fun in that kennel. Johan. Yeah, you and Sebastian. But my father made me promise that I'll build a kennel for someone one day so they could have fun too. OK, as long as this one's got carpet too. Done. <laughs> Johan Sebastian. Mm hmm. Johan Sebastian Bark. Had a cat called Ludwig too. Ludwig. Yeah. Ludwig van Beethoven. You're a worry. Yeah, but what a worry. Hey. It's the deadly disease haemophilus influenza type B, which is commonly known as HIV. Dr. Brendan Nelson from the AMA says the vaccine has been available for two months. Only one in ten children are protected. Who is it? And one of these things that can happen, for example, Hello?
Tell me what's wrong with this, Max. Well, have I made a mistake? No, no, you just read it again. Tell me if you think something's wrong. Well, that's Aunty Delaney's confession, Sarge. What's the matter? I don't believe it. Well, why would he say he killed all these people if he hadn't? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't have a problem. So I think he's lying. It's all too easy. These murders have been unsolved for months. And just when we finally get a fix on Jack Brown, Arnie Delaney waltzes in and takes the rap for the whole thing. So you think he's covering for Jack? Who knows, but there's something fishing going on, that's for sure. Hi, Al. Hi, Bonnie. I'll, I'll be with you in a minute, OK? Forget it, Max. I do not want you driving me to school. It's your last exam, and I've got to make sure you get there, OK? I am sick of being chauffeured around in a cop car. It is compromising everything I stand for. Max, how can I sit for an exam when I'm too worried about being turned into a hypocrite? Sorry. It's all right, Bonnie. Max doesn't have to drive you to school. Well, at least someone appreciates a political statement when they see what? I'll take you myself. Oh. No objections. Hold the fort, will you, Max? Good luck. Uh, the both of you. You reckon the Sarge is right about Arnie Delaney's confession, Sam? Huh? You were right, mate. Long night. And no, I didn't spend it with Tony. None of that is my business, OK? Sure it is. You're CJ's friend. You've got a right to hate me, too. After I saw them together, I just couldn't go home. I mean, you do something like that once, you can say it's a mistake. But twice? Well, passing judgment's not gonna help, mate. You reckon she's serious about Sam? She says she doesn't know. We keep trying to talk and work things out. But every time we do, it just ends up in a mess. We don't get anywhere. Well, maybe you're not talking about the right things. What do you mean? Well, you're getting yourself all tied up talking about a third person. You're forgetting about the most important thing, your marriage. That means talking about you and Tony, no one else. Think about why you got married. Think about your vows. It's all about faith. In God. Yeah, and in yourself, and in each other. Maybe Sam's not so much a cause of the problem as a symptom of something that's been going wrong. So maybe she just thinks Sam's a better bet than I am. I don't know. I always thought I wasn't good enough for her. Maybe I should have listened to myself a bit more. I... I can't believe she'd do this to me. No. You've been through a tough time and your self-esteem shot. They're not going to be able to fix anything you fix that up. Easier said than done, Rev. Right? And stop feeling guilty for a start about the drugs, about what went wrong. Even if I could do that, I'd still have a problem. You know what really blows me out? Every time I close my eyes, I can see them. Tony, my wife, making love with Sam. I love her so much. Her eyes, her smile, her teeth, everything about her. And I see Sam kissing him, touching him. Loving her. Yeah, it just makes me crazy, and I don't know what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> you should have said you were. Well, the idea was for nobody to see it. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have much. You hate surprise. I'll get over it. Oh, do you think Claire will like this? Oh, I'm sure she would, but she's not here. She's in America with David. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought she'd worked out custody. <laughs> it's okay. She's just staying with him for a few months. He had a car accident. Yeah, with him. he wrote to me about it. Typical David. He only told me half the story. So, what are you doing here? I'm having a holiday. You spend your life in exotic places, taking photographs of famous people, and you come here for a holiday? Well, maybe I'm exotic doubt. Sure. <laughs> Who'd have thought the girl taking photographs at our wedding would end up a famous photographer? <laughs> I think I'd cut everyone's head off, didn't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I still can't figure out why you married David. 
What? Well, he was a pain in the neck as a brother. He must have been hell as a husband. <laughs> we had our moments. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> You're staying here, of course. Oh, I am? I insist. Well, I can't argue with that, can I? Oh, it's good to see you again. It's been too oh, long. It's good to see you too, Ellie. <laughs> so difficult, Max. All I want is a good job, a girl that loves me and a chance to settle down with her one day. It's not too much to ask, is it? Nope. It's pretty much what everyone wants, mate. It's all CJ ever wanted, too. I never set out to wreck anyone's life. You've got to understand that. I never thought you did. Listen, Sam, this is hard for me, OK, because you're both my friends. But you got to know what this is doing to CJ. I know. It's twice as tough on him, mate, because he went through so much to be with Tony in the first place. Please, Max. He loved her from the moment he met her. But he never thought he was good enough for her. You don't have to tell me. I think I do, Sam. CJ did everything to try and prove himself to Tony, but it wasn't enough. He had to show everyone out there that he wasn't out to wreck her life. And it wasn't exactly easy, I'll tell you. Yeah, I know the story. Well, then you know why he's hurting so bad. Yes. you got to back off, Sam. At least give him time to work it out, OK? I do, do I? You know it. Yeah, I know it. Then why don't you do something? Because... Because maybe I can't. Aren't you going to ask me why? You're in love with Tony? Got in one, Max. and thought you might like a chat. Sure. You've been speaking to CJ, haven't you? <laughs> You'd think after all these years I'd come up with a better opening line, wouldn't you? Well, do I get to come in? Yeah. Suppose you've heard all the gruesome details about what an unfaithful wife I've been. There's two sides to every story, Tony. I thought it was time that someone heard them both. There is no other side. I've got no excuses. Did CJ tell you it was all over? Hey, I'm not playing messenger here. That's something only you two can discuss. He won't even come home. Well, maybe he just needs some time to think things through. Maybe you both do. I've tried, but how can I try and work things out when I don't even know why I'm doing them? Oh, all you seem to be doing at the moment is walking around in circles. Why'd you get married in the first place? I loved him. 
What about all the other things you promised in church? You know, respect, commitment, honor, in good times and in bad. Hmm? There's more to marriage than just being in love. And what if I'm not in love with him anymore? Aren't you? I don't know. Well, if you're not, I think you would know. But if you're not sure, then maybe one of the vows have just come unstuck a bit. I have thought about this, Bob, longer and harder than anyone will ever know. I don't have affairs. I don't turn my back on someone I care about just because they're going through a bad time. That's not me. Then what do you reckon happened? CJ blew my dream out of the water. I am only 20 years old. Maybe that is too young to get married. Maybe I couldn't put an adult enough connotation on it. But you know, all I wanted was to be loved and to feel needed and safe and sexy and all those idealistic female things. Is that so wrong? But maybe that is all the fantasy stuff that's supposed to go out the door after the honeymoon. I love CJ and I made a mistake. But what I was getting from CJ wasn't what I thought marriage was supposed to be. I've had a lot of fear and heartbreak in my life. Was it so wrong just wanting to be loved? And Sam? Sam loves me. Maybe I made a mistake sleeping with him. But you know what? I'm not sorry I did. I'm just sorry for who I've hurt. Something I picked up in New York. Oh, and this. Oh, it's an original. Well, I'm friends with a designer. You can borrow it if you want. Oh, I couldn't. It must be worth a fortune. Oh, I haven't paid for half of these. Perks of the business. Oh, lucky you. Well, there's got to be some compensation for photographing board models and clothes no one can afford. You really are sick of it, aren't you? I haven't done a fashion shoot in ages. So what have you been doing? News and current affairs? No. More photojournalism stuff. See, I've had this book in my mind for years. About what? Well, I'm not really sure yet, but I got my first shot already. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to call it Woman in Face Mask. You wouldn't! <laughs> oh, yes, I would. <laughs> oh, it's going to be really good having you here. You better believe it. <laughs> We're going to have the time of our lives. <laughs> Oh, no, no more. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm all wet again. Yuck. Tess, you're supposed to let oh. us dry you. Every piece of this timber's wet. <laughs> if it's warm, Tess, it's your fault. <laughs> oh. oh, Tess. What have you got there? I'm going to dry Tess's hair like you dry mine. No, I don't think she'd like that very much, darling. Oh. <laughs> Neither would I. Now, look, if I don't get some peace and quiet, we're never going to get this finished. Um, how about we take Tess to the park? It's a nice sunny day out there. She can dry off there. No. Darling, remember I told you that we have to exercise, huh? Tess can come. You can't. Oh, why not? I'm for Mum. I should do it. Oh, yeah, but... You said, didn't she, Jamie? Sure did. I know. And I'm very proud of you for wanting to be so responsible, but I... OK. Come on, Tess. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Now, you go down to the park and go to that special place, OK? You go there and come straight back, OK? Come on, Tess. They grow up so quickly, don't they? Pretty soon she'll be taking herself off to school, having boyfriends, 
having a career. Pen, she's only taking Tess for a walk, not leaving her home. Yeah, but she's so independent already. I won't be needed much longer. Oh, <laughs> rubbish. Kids always need their mums. Mm. And there'll be more from East Street at the same time on Monday, 12.30. Next, though, we're off to Falcon Crest. This is Sky One. Will you love her, cherish her, honor and protect her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. For richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Well, I'm not really sure how to do this. You're listening to me, God? I spent the happiest day of my life here. So it seemed to make sense. That's where I should spend the saddest one, too. I know I've never spoken to you before, but I need your help. Reverend Bob reckons I've got to forgive myself if I'm ever going to get Tony back again. But I don't know if I can. I don't know if I deserve to have her back. He's right. I have lost faith in myself. But if I spend time thinking about me, She'll think I don't care about our marriage. And I do. I really love her, God. I guess you know that. So, if I can't forgive myself, I was wondering if you could do it for me. Maybe make me believe that I can get Tony back again. Make me strong enough to do whatever I have to do. Just let me feel I've got a chance. That's all I'm asking for. Amen. I'm just here to get some clothes. Oh, CJ, you're wrong about last night. It's not what you think it is. I don't know what to think. I told Sam I loved you. Don't do this. Why not? Because I don't know whether to believe you or not. That's why I'm moving out. If you go now, we'll never work this out. No. If I stay, we'll never sort this out. Doing this for both of us, Tony. If 
This is really sad. Isn't it? I am now, I've been. Thought the Rev might be good for a room. Things that bad, eh? I'm trying to make them better. This is one of my oh, favourites. pure accident. I hit the shutter by mistake. I wasn't even looking through the viewfinder. It's still a fantastic picture. Oh. They all are. Oh, please. Enough of the compliments. You're making me feel twice as guilty about not keeping in touch. Oh, forget about that. You're here now, aren't you? Yeah. So, let's talk about you. <laughs> what do you want to know? Oh, I don't know. Let me see now. Oh, Smile. do you have to keep pointing that thing at me? <gasps> Why are so many people afraid of having their picture taken? Probably because the camera never lies and they wish it would. Okay, okay, forget photography. Let's talk about the important things. Like what? Like who's keeping you warm at night? You don't beat around the bush, <laughs> do you? <laughs> well, if I don't ask, how will I know? <laughs> well, there was someone, but... But it's too soon to talk about, right? <clears throat> you? Oh, it's hard when you travel so much. Gotta have your fun where you can find it. So your career always comes first? work too hard to get where I am for it not to. If a man's not prepared to fit around it, well, that's his problem. So, what are we waiting for? We're two attractive, single ladies. Time to get dressed and hit the town. You're still up to a little party, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so get your glad rags on and let's hit the town. Come on. <laughs> Wish I could help the way I feel. I really do, but I can't. It's one big mess, isn't it? Yep. And you and CJ aren't the only ones that love Tony, you know. Everyone in Westside does. Ellie loves her like a mother. Sarge loves her like a father. And I love her too. You do? Yeah. She's a wonderful, kind, caring person. I love her to death. But I'm not in love with her like CJ is in love with her. What, you think I'm confusing friendship with something else? Like it's possible, isn't it, Sam? All I know is that you've got to work out exactly what it is you do feel for her. Do you love her like I do, or do you love her like CJ does? CJ would die for her. He loves her that much, mate. Is that how you feel? You'll be glad to know that Bonnie got to her exam on time, Max. Great. Now all I've got to do is pray that she passes, eh? Yeah. It's about time we got back to some real police work around here. Sarge, um... Do you mind if I take a couple of hours off? Constable, didn't you hear what I just said about getting back to business? It's very important. All right. Thanks. Oh, aren't you going to kiss it better? What? That's what all mums do. Come on, you said you weren't feeling very wanted. Come on. Oh, I'm cute. Oh, I'm Jackie, cute. I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> oh, you don't mind having me around, though. Oh, of course not. I really appreciate all the things you do for Charlie. Like I said, I love living here. It's like a real family. It means a lot to me, too, you know. The fact that Charlie has a father figure, someone to look up to. She's a great little girl. I love her. Mum's not bad either, you know. You know, sometimes I wish this family was a real one. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be much of a father figure unless I get this kennel finished. I've got to get in the hardware and get a few things, you know, like uh, nails that don't bend when you hit them. <laughs> oh, will you go past the park and tell Charlie to come home? Yeah, sure. You know, near the swings. Yeah, fine. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Sure, this is gonna help. What do you mean? 
don't know, Bob thinks all this deep and meaningful stuff works, but... What? Where I come from, if you're losing something that's yours, you fight for it. That's if you want it back. Of course I do. Well, do something about it. Right now, you're handing it to Sam on a platter. What would you do? Grab a gun and shoot him? If I thought it'd work? It wouldn't work for me. You better think of something that would. I can't. What did you do to win her over in the first place? Just had fun. Good times. Going out together, you know? No, I don't. And neither does she anymore. So you better start finding her why. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks, Jack. I'd still favour the gun myself. Is now a bad time? Yeah. It is a bad time, actually. I'm sorry. Tony, please. It's important. to me to see you and Tony back together. Hey, CJ. Hey, Max, can't talk now. Oh, hey, Max, forget hey. about him. We are here to celebrate. I'm free. Oh, Max, I'm free. Oh, 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 yeah, so am I. Hey, guys. Oh, what are you talking about, Max? You didn't have to sit for the exam. Well, I know I didn't. I just had to make sure you did. But I know which was harder, believe me. Well, you won't have to worry about it anymore because Dad will be back soon and you'll be let off the hook. I'll celebrate to that. What would you like to drink? No, Max. I should buy you a drink to say thank you for looking after me. Hey. We didn't hit it off too well at first, did we? Well, you're lucky I didn't lock you up. You defaced the police car. You, you, you kept disappearing on me and made me look like a dork in front of the Sarge. Yes, but we did have fun, didn't we, huh? Just talking to the Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Max, I'm so glad that I finished school. I feel like doing something hey? really crazy. What, what do you know? Don't you think? <laughs> I knew that'd get you, Max. Oh, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. 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 Ellie, you told me how many good-looking men there were here. I would have come back a lot sooner. Who was that? Ah, oh, the local vicar. I don't suppose you could introduce me. I feel a confession coming on. I couldn't even think about cleansing your soul some other time. I thought we were meant to be heading the town. Yeah, sure. There'll be more to confess after that anyway. <laughs> he didn't even talk to me. He just left. I'm really sorry, Tony. Are you? Yes. <laughs> How come you're so nice, Sam Farrell? It's only you and I that feel that way. They're giving you a hard time out there, are they? Well, Max keeps reminding me of what an important part of the community you are. And how everyone cares for me and feels sorry for CJ, I know. 
I'm sorry. What for? For putting you through this. My father used to say to me, it takes two to tango. He didn't. He did. Never told me how many it takes to foxtrot, though, or... Or what? Or how not to fall in love with someone else's wife. You can't be in love with me, Sam. So everyone keeps telling me. No, not because of other people. To tell you the truth, I don't care what other people think. You can't be in love with me because I used you. I was feeling bad at... And I used you to make me feel better. Just a sex object, huh? I would have said... a love object. A compassion object. What if I don't mind? Don't mind what? Being used by you. Then you're silly. I'm not silly. And I don't buy this I used you act. But I can understand what you're doing. And what am I doing? You've thought about it. And you need some space to think some more, so you're pushing away the most expendable part of your problem, me. I just don't need any more pressure, Sam. I know. It's just... I feel responsible. And I want to help fix this. Our friendship means a lot to me. And no matter what happens, I don't want to lose it. Can't you understand that? That's good. Because right now, that's what I really need. A friend. But nothing more, just a friend. Look, I'll be whatever you want me to be, OK? Charlie. Isn't she here? No, you were going to bring her home. Well, um, she wasn't in the park, so I thought she must have come home already. No. Uh, maybe she stopped off for an ice cream or I something. I didn't give her any money. You sure you went to the right spot? Yeah, by the swings, well, yeah. Well, you must have seen her. Or well, maybe she's seen some friends and gone off somewhere else to play. Silver Shoes has got lead feet. I'm back to total loser. I may have thrown away a hundred bucks, but I don't want to have to listen to it and cent now, by cent. Hey, wait a minute. Now to the rails. Look at Silver Shoes go. That's your horse, sir. Oh, shut up. There's only a neck between them. Silver Shoes on the inside. Mole lady the other. There's nothing between them. Silver Shoes has put its head in front of the two. Come on, Silver Shoes. Silver Shoes. Mole lady can't do any better. That's the post inside. Silver Shoes is drawing away. Shoes runs 
have some champagne, Jojo. The French stuff. Whatever you want, you're playing. Hi, Tony. CJ. Before you say anything, I'm not here to hassle you or talk about what's happened. I'm here to ask you to come out to dinner with me tomorrow night. You don't have to tell me now. Just give me a call at the rectory and let me know. See you. California's wine country is the destination next here on Sky One, when we catch up on events at Falcon Crest. Then at two, Piers Brosnan heads an all-star cast attempting to...